This is not fair! Kids, stop making us dance! Stop it! Yes! Have you noticed the reference in Bluey to one of the greatest historical films that happens in the episode The Fairy? Or did you catch the clear reference to the Mario Brothers movie in the cinema episode of the second season? This occurred in a few moments of the episode when we see the poster of a movie that is showing at the cinema, which strongly resembles the most famous video game movie. It first appears when Bandit, Bingo, and Bluey enter the cinema, and then when Bandit goes to buy more popcorn, we see it again there. We can see that it features a female character who is clearly a princess, strongly reminiscent of Peach. And in the background of the poster image, there is a castle fixed on a floating rock, strongly resembling the Mario games. All of this strongly resembles Princess Peach in the Mushroom Kingdom she rules, which shortly afterward became a huge success in cinemas, grossing over a billion dollars. So, surely this poster is a reference to Princess Peach in the world of Mario Brothers. That was just the first reference to movies and games that we're gonna show you today that we found in Bluey. And believe me, you'll be surprised. Stranger Things. This is definitely a reference that most people never noticed and is quite subtle. It happens in the episode Seesaw and involves one of the most famous series in pop culture in recent years. We see Chili and Pom Pom's mom sitting and talking in the park, and at one point, Pom Pom's mom says she hopes a character comes back in season four, and Chili responds that she saw the trailer and that he's in Russia. Guys, what's the series where a character we all thought was dead ends up in Russia? If you thought of Hooper from Stranger Things, you're right, because that's exactly the series Chili and Pom Pom's mom are talking about. Who would have thought even the healers are fans of the Hawkins gang? <laughs> My Little Pony. This is definitely something everyone at least suspected, and we're here to confirm it. In the episode Silent Game, we see Bandit and the girls in a store, and in one scene we see hundreds of boxes, all of them with small colorful unicorns inside. If this isn't a reference to My Little Pony in an alternate version, I must be crazy. <laughs> Which means Bingo and Bluey probably are fans of the super famous animated show about ponies. Uh, I mean, unicorns. Indiana Jones. In the episode Yoga Ball, we see a reference to a movie that has marked generations and now belongs to one of the most famous franchises from Disney itself. In Bandit's game with the daughters, he rolls the yoga ball so they can escape from it as if it were a giant ball. This scene is a complete reference to the scene from Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark from 1981. It's exactly the same scene, just with cute little doggies and a yoga ball, but we got the Disney reference. If you also love cartoons and animated movies, do the following. Subscribe to our channel to receive our videos that we post every day. B-Movie. Once again in the cinema episode, we see another reference to an animated movie that was quite successful in the early 2000s. Shortly after the first scene where we see the poster referencing Princess Peach and Super Mario Brothers, we see the poster of another movie starring a bee. We can even see the name Bee on the poster. That name and theme are simply identical to the 2007 film Bee Movie, which tells the story of Barry the Bee and his struggle for honey in society. <laughs> The detail is that B-Movie is a DreamWorks film, Disney's biggest competitor, which is the one distributing Bluey worldwide. Who would have thought, right? Undertale. Returning now a bit to video games, we found a reference to the super famous RPG game Undertale. And within this game, one of the most well-known characters, if not the most well-known, is Sans, who is an NPC that ends up becoming the final boss of the game's hardest route. And in the episode where Muffin goes to sleep over at the healer's house, she's completely loopy because she didn't have her afternoon nap. Guess who's part of the girls' play dinner? It's a plush toy that is a reference exactly to Sans from Undertale. If you're a fan of the game, you surely had noticed the resemblance, which definitely wasn't a coincidence. Crocodile Dundee. There are some movies that are closely tied to Australian culture, the homeland of the healers. And one of the most famous films with an authentically Australian character is the classic Crocodile Dundee from 1986, which tells the story of an Australian crocodile hunter who goes to New York. And one of the character's features is his hat filled with crocodile teeth. Now, let's go back to the Fruit Bad episode of the first season, and right at the beginning, we see the family playing a game. And in this game, there's a character with a hat identical to Crocodile Dundee's. Additionally, there are several little crocodiles in the game, making the reference to this symbol of Australian cinema even clearer. Then, in Bluey's dream, we see a giant version of the same game, making the references to the movie even clearer. That was a really cool reference. Lord of the Rings. In the episode where the girls go with their mom to visit Grandpa Mort, we see one of the most classic scenes from the epic adventure of Lord of the Rings, but in a canine and super cute version. While the three of them, 
Grandpa Mort, Bluey, and Bingo are hiding and fleeing from Chili under the root of a very big tree. Shortly after, Bluey throws a stone to trick Chili into thinking they're in another place. This is exactly the same scene that happens in the first Lord of the Rings movie when the Nazgul are after the hobbits. As soon as I saw this scene, I noticed the reference. I really like Lord of the Rings. Thanks, Bluey! If you're a Bluey fan like us, drop a comment below, hashtag Bluey, so we know who loves this amazing show as much as we do. Lord of the Rings 2! And it seems we're not the only ones who enjoy the story of Frodo and Aragorn, because there's another reference to the adventure trilogy in Bluey. It happens in the episode Magic Feather, where Bingo becomes somewhat obsessive with the power, in quotes, she gains from making everything heavy with her little feather. And when Bandit covers for Bluey and Chili's escape, he says the line, You shall not pass! If you've watched Lord of the Rings, you know that this is exactly the same and epic line spoken by the Grey Wizard Gandalf when he confronts the Balrog on the Mountain of Doom so that the other members of the Fellowship of the Ring could escape. The reference is quite evident and very well done. You shall not pass! Uh, you shall not pass! <laughs> Gladiator. Speaking of iconic movies, once again involving Bandit, in the fairy episode, we see that Bandit, as a final test to save Bingo, needs to dance for the fairies. Something he didn't want to do, but of course he does it because he loves his youngest daughter. But the detail is that when he's dancing, he says a super famous line from a very successful movie. He asks if the fairies are satisfied and if that's what they want. This is a clear reference to the scene from the movie Gladiator, when actor Russell Crowe, who plays Maximus, who also has a strong connection with Australia, asks the audience in the Gladiator arena if that's what they wanted and if they were satisfied. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? This was a very well-made reference, and Bandit kind of became the gladiator of the fairies. <laughs> Gallipoli! There's someone on the Bluey production team who enjoys really old movies. That's a fact. Because besides all we've mentioned here, there's another reference to another well-known film in Australia called Gallipoli. This happens in the episode where Chili is training Bluey, and the blue pup says she feels like a greyhound, which are super fast racing dogs. This is basically the same scene from the movie Gallipoli where the coach and the runner talk, and the athlete says he'll run as fast as a leopard. They swapped leopard for greyhound, but the scene is very well known in Australia, and now you know it too. Dirty Dancing Another very old movie that has a really cool reference in Bluey is the historical dance film Dirty Dancing, which has that classic scene where the protagonist lifts his dance partner in the climax of the movie. In fact, several films replicated that same scene many times because it became so famous. Even Ken, in quotes, has his version. But in a very similar but also different way, we see Bandit and Pat, Lucky's famous dad, doing the same thing. <laughs> and Pat, in an inexplicable way, manages to lift Bandit in the air just like in the movie. Besides being very similar, I have to say that Pat is much stronger than he looks. <laughs> and if you've made it this far, you deserve a treat. So we've got a bonus reference just for you. Double Dragon Arcade. In the fairy tale episode, we see Bandit telling the story of what his childhood was like in the crazy 80s. And in one of the scenes, we see him and his younger brother Stripe playing those old arcade style games. And if you're older, you definitely notice that this game is a clear reference to the successful 80s game called Double Dragon. Truly, the 80s were very different but they were also very cool. Those were the 13 references in Bluey to movies, other cartoons, and even series like Stranger Things. It's impossible not to enjoy Bluey with so many cool things in just one show. Don't you agree? And since we know you like to watch good videos, we're leaving these two on the screen for you to choose and keep watching only cool videos. Thanks, and enjoy the video.